It's a story that struck a nerve with viewers across the valley. A Tempe senior whose rent nearly doubled in a month preparing to live out of her car. ABC 15 investigator Courtney Holmes first introduced us to her in July when she had to move out because of rising rent. And tonight we're seeing how she's adapting and the challenges that still lie ahead. It's really kind of fun, except sometimes it can get kind of hot. That's Gail Clay's assessment of more than a month of living in the SUV she outfitted with a bed. Now I just have some camping mats that I use. When we first met in July. And the platform would just sit along the here. Her rent had nearly doubled at Silverwood Apartments in Tempe. The now 63 year old decided living in her car just made more financial sense. And I'd rather pay my car note and just enjoy life. And for the most part, she has been. It's a choice that I honestly make every day if I want to be sane or if I want to be insane. But a bill from her old apartment's new property manager is threatening to push her to the edge. I got a bill for $9,000. Court records show that Gail owed $1,064 after her eviction. That includes July rent, late fees, court costs, and landlord attorney fees. So how did $1,064 turn into $9,000? I had a feeling that this was going to happen. In its letter, Market Edge Realty said keys weren't returned by July 31st, costing two months in rent. And despite referring to attached estimates for cleaning, tenant ledger, and an attorney invoice, Gail said none were received. I clean my stove, I clean my tub, I clean everything. And about those keys. I sent my keys through certified mail. Gail says this tracking information shows her keys arrived before the end of the month. She contacted the management company about the bill, but says she hasn't heard back. Neither has ABC 15. Well, it feels like retaliation. Fighting for her old home while trying to find a new one in senior communities. You have a wait list of about two to three years. And between social security and massage therapy, she makes too much for help, but not enough to rent a place. It's a catch 22, but I'm not caught because I don't mind staying in my car. But when it all becomes too much, her comforter becomes a reminder. When I get overwhelmed, Gail, breathe. This is only temporary, Gail, breathe. In Tempe, Courtney Holmes, ABC 15, Arizona. We have not been able to find a clear way to challenge post-eviction charges in court. Gail is seeking help from an attorney.